All right, so here's what time it is now. Everything's done. It is in primer. I decided to prime it just in case I don't get to it. It is definitely bureau clock. Got us some nice, big, fresh Delmonico's going on the grill. Yum. These uh, these are actually fresh. Uh, just got these. This cow just got butchered. Um, I don't know. I guess about two and a half weeks ago. Uh, the hung for a week, and then we just picked the meat up this past weekend. <laughs> Love local butchered cow. These are uh, black Angus. So, oh, it's gonna be good. There's soy sauce. There's Worcestershire. There's butter. There's uh, garlic powder, um, salt, pepper, red pepper, um, Italian seasoning in here. So I'm going to get ready to throw these on the grill, cook them up in this foil a little bit first, and then I'm going to slap these bad boys in the grill, and away we go. So sit tight, and the grilling is coming. All right, she's on the grill, and uh, yeah, let's get these bad boys cooking. Oof, time for a little bit more beer, huh? It's the best thing about working on your tractor is at the end of the day when you get to eat and grill. Oh, so good, so good. It's a little breezy out here, but as you see, another beautiful Pennsylvania day. There's my gorgeous solar panels in the shade. The sun has now set back behind the trees, so obviously these are now in the shade, but the ones on my roof, they're still in the sun. All right, let's get back to the grill. Alright, ooh, look at that. Oh, it's looking good. If you can only smell that, that's a good smelling steak. Hey, you know, I forgot to add that um, all the work that you saw me do in the shop and in the uh, shed area, which is my other small shop, um, everything is run off solar also. I forgot to add that. So the solar system that I show all the videos for, that actually, everything is running off batteries, everything is running off solar. So nothing that you saw running um, is running off shore power. So again, Everything is running green ish. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm getting ready to flip these things over in a minute. Oh, I need another sip. Ah, good stuff, good stuff. And again, shout out to my son in law. Thank you very much for the 230 packs. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't ask for a better son in law. All right, let me give these things a couple more minutes to do some boiling. I'm going to flip them and um, slap these puppies on the grill. All right, the foil's off. Ooh, this smells so good. I'm going to give these things a quick flip. Right. Woo flame on. Oh, they look so yummy. Come here. Ooh. Problem I like when they're too damn big to get a hold of and pull them out. There we go. Oh yeah. All that butter, all those juices. Oh, these are gonna be good. Hey, you didn't know this is a cooking, uh, cooking video just as, as well as a tractor video. <laughs> Learn something new every day, right? All right, put those on there. Look at that. Yeah, so I learned that you can actually marinate these. It's been marinating for about four hours. And then you can go ahead and once you do all your seasonings, let it sit in the fridge, let all this marinate really good. And then you go ahead and cook this in the juices. Um, so it helps get the steaks a little bit more done. Really soaks up all the flavor. And then once these are finished grilling, I'm going to give them about maybe another 10 minutes. Pull them off, throw them on the grill. And then I can actually uh, lather just a little bit of that juice on those steaks when they're done. It's going to be really good. You know what? If you want to know what the recipe I used, let me know if you want me to do a video on uh, how I mix this up. Alright, so what we got going on over here? There's our three pups and the other loudmouth and the daughter riding her bike. And we are putting in some strawberries. Strawberries. Yeah. Berry basket hot pink. For your doozy old radio flyer. All right, well, you keep going with your strawberries. I'm heading back over to the grill. And me biking? And you biking. All right, so I think it's about time to get these bad boys off the, out of the juice and start getting these things on the grill. 
All right, I'm not gonna be able to hold this and do this at the same time because I gotta try to move that pan off of here and then get the steaks on there. So, um, yeah. You know what I could do? Here, let me do this. It's a little breezy here today, so everything's trying to blow away on me. I'm gonna go ahead and put these puppies up on this top rack. I like a medium well, so we're gonna do these for about 10 minutes each side, flipping about three times. And that should give us a real nice medium well. I'll get my basin brush so as I'm cooking these too, I put a little extra juice on them. And let's get on up here. There we go. I'm on the top rack. Alright, I'm gonna have to unfortunately I need a free hand to move this stuff around. Alright, been a couple minutes here. Go ahead and get some of these spices and juices scooped up. And keep these steaks nice and moist. Good. Ah. All right, close this lid down. I already got these on. That's eh, probably close to about medium heat. I don't really have them super high, but I don't have them low. I'm gonna try to get these things to about a good medium well, and uh, I'm gonna flip these two more times, and then we'll be good. Let's give it a quick check. I want to get about 150 degrees on the inside. It's about 145, so it's getting there. About 170. 166. I'm gonna crank that heat down a little bit. There we go. Turn that down a little bit lower. I want these in to cook just a hair bit slower. All right, do a little bit more juice. Close this lid down again. I'm gonna go ahead and actually, uh, we're gonna do that for about, maybe I'll leave it on about a minute and a half, so in about five minutes. We're gonna go ahead and flip those over and start cooking that other side. All right, let's get that last one flipped over. Oh yeah, look at those nice grill marks. And that's not brushed on shit either. That's the real deal. Mm -hmm. All right. A little bit more on there. And we're going to go ahead and let those sit for another maybe two and a half minutes and we're going to flip those again. All right, we got about another uh, minute and 40 and these things are done. Should be a really good tender steak. Alright, I think that's it for the juice. Now I'm going to go ahead and let these things cook on low heat for the last minute. 
and we are good to go. All right, there's the timer. I'm gonna check these one more time. Make sure any blood coming to the surface. Yep, I can pull these now. Go to the fat part. Ooh, there's one. I'm gonna go upside down. 160, 160, 160. All right, that temperature looks good. These puppies are coming off of here. You know what the worst thing is about making steak? That you have to share it. I think that's the worst part of it all. All right, so let me go ahead and I'm um, sitting there trying to figure out a way to arrange this. Let me move this over to here. Put this over here. Go ahead and kill this bad boy. Let's get these steaks off here. Ooh, look at that. Looking good. That's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a little picture serving this puppy up, show you how it looks, and that's it. Here's the finished plates. Yum. Asparagus. Not yum for me. Green beans. Yum. That's mine. Nope. That's hers. That's the daughter's. That's mine. <laughs> All right. Well, that concludes the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Like. Subscribe. Share. And there's going to be a lot more videos coming where this was. Thanks for watching.